Peter definitely bought the hype with that one. Thank you so much. Good amount of good amount of slugs. Good amount of slugs for the gifted. Thank you so much for that. Kojak, appreciate you. Thank you for all the support, mate. It's a lot of a lot of gifted from you. Jesus Christ, what is this? That's a mechanical skill already from Victor. That's gonna come that's a, a that's a strong start into this one. Lots of pressure outside of showers. <laughs> you came at the right time. You actually did, yeah. You bought the hype with you. Yeah, they have the extremities. Thank you so much, mate. Good job. Appreciate it. And nice to see people saying thank you. Well done, everyone. I was gonna say if he got one there, holy hell! E sorry, EG on defense, NRG on attack. So in to go for this one. Four v three. We follow the dog and the boom bot. Um, Make things a lot more difficult for EG to try to come back for the defuse. Yeah, there it is. That's the round. Even 13. Can't be so winning this one. one Especially when they're playing it like that. Nice stuff from Crashies. It looked like a pretty cool strat to straight up just hit. Um, yeah, this was a little bit mad as well. Like the movement was uh, pretty unreal no from Victor. Problem leading the charge on that as he goes straight over. So zero help really. Get the Astra. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe some after pawn stuff. Who knows? To see as he makes his way to spawn. We will see. Instantly trying to get into EG's defensive. Your, your satchels are better. Okay, I respect that. Take that once they couldn't figure out the positioning. So fast. Not usually what we see from energy. Astro and bind. Yeah, I kind of hate it. Like a lot of times here. So we'll see if this becomes a slower round. Kind of big hater of it, but hey, I imagine they have some cool stuff planned. Info is not going to be safe. Energy do such a good job of being able to kind there of has to be a reason for it. They're playing against and we'll look out for the reason. FNS Whatever the reason is, we'll look out for it. Last time we saw FNS on this, he's putting a pit in U-Haul so the team can get vision around. Now okay, here we go, NRG, who would have thought going over towards exactly long here. That's what they like to do with numbers. A little bit wrecked, though, from them. They have been a little bit wrecked. This is looking horrendous. They need to get this kill over towards site. Oh my goodness. Sentinel fans. But he does have a phantom to work with. A strong weapon, low HP, sees the top of the door oh, oh. the pain shells come out. Rise oh, up. Uh, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Off the top, it's gonna be Jogimo. They're just gonna play with him. Oh my goodness. No four crashes. Also spike on his back. Well. Has an opportunity to slip through behind enemy lines if he could make it towards the A site. Wants to keep EG guessing. What's by EG on a mistake? But that's God damn. The triple swing in the end. EG. And we get the rifle out of their hands. Everyone gets the best guns that are on the floor. Oh boy, it's okay. I'm in, I'm in for it. Give me a good game. That's a great start. Phantoms in their hand now. Energy has to call the audible just on second round to figure out how they can get some of this back. And a lot of members of BG stayed alive that round. So they did the energy. Yeah, they again. They just like to play like this. Like to. Uh, they like to do that. This map was picked by NRG. When you're See if I can... NRG equals bind. Does that make sense? Like Surely. It's the best I can do. I'm probably going to delete this at one point. I had to forget, but... So it's going to be, have to be a lot of on the, on the cuff, yeah. off the fly. Can't even get a plant. A little bit of a mixed fly that we have for energy. That's not going to pan out. Yes, at least for one kill, but... It really seals the fate now with the score against one. Damn, nicely EG, done. The lead early in there. Demon one said you haven't played against. <laughs> Trying to get the frenzies and everything. I'm taking it all. <laughs> Behind a wall on that one with the specter. Good hold. Operator. Third we'll control and bind for playing. That as quick as possible. Single saying, control and ranked. I don't come. I just ask like a, a brimmy or an so, omen. Yeah. Honestly, if maybe omen if you're doing single. Going into these rounds, energy. Chat was saying the same. It's Ken, Artis, and Victor. More so, Victor here get max. It's a bit of a nightmare. He's going. He said it. Okay, okay now we're getting to the full buy rounds. Op comes entering. out over towards Demon, and so he is literally sending it straight so towards middle. No one on his right is going to have no idea about it. Well, that's good info for everyone involved. Flash goes over towards showers. It hits. That op will be pushed up mid. And extremities trying to be held here by energy to make sure EG doesn't get too much info. And this is big too for EG. The pressure you have from short A allows you to pinch even quicker through the showers. Yeah. If you're able to gain that. Okay, space. they're going to be on top of this. They, they hear the orb getting taken. Someone's going to press tab and go right. Victor's now six out of seven, so they're going to make sure that they're getting full info over towards long. Dog goes in. Oh, the pinch over towards this. There's only one person here. Damn, that was sick. 
is in showers. So good. Not a first Damn, that was so you. good. Ethan with the assist on that kill right there. Trailblazer through the teleporter. Now they like they knew the tendencies here that they like to take showers and leave one person here. Seekers came out on the attack to clear out the space, trying to flush out Demon One, who's trying to continue to spray through the high tide. This time only oh, with an offer. This is a nice plan at the moment. No <clears throat> Could be interested to see if they start moving this smoke over towards here, and then just spam and hold showers heavy. It's probably be what. It's pretty what I would do. They have this U-Haul control again. It's been so strong for energy round to round that they can get it. Just a bit of the flank being watched from EG, and then we'll see them retake the site. Here we go. Protocol to take showers first, then back into U-Haul. Here comes the trade-off. Big flash right in the face of Song, and the spurs of both ends. That's Ethan with two. Back oh, on this a game. Two disadvantage for energy. Play four back on the post plan. Is he dumb from crashes? He's got to go crazy though. Oh, it's an off to hit the shot. Ooh, okay, managed to hit it. Nice, nicely done from EG. Good round from them. Keep two people alive as well. Money's kind of good. Uh, James J. Snowball, what's up? Dude. Will I be co-streaming from the Coliseum again? Potentially in last chance qualifier. I need to um, I need to check out all of the times um, to see if I can stream all the others at the same time. Uh, so maybe for last chance qualifier, but at least for the rest of the season, no, it's not happening. Uh, Menace as well. Menace ETW. Thank you so much. I think NRG is willing to show anything new. Um, they'll be sticking. Not really. They'll be sticking with what they've, they've shown already. Won't be doing to anything too new. Might just be playing it normal. And they'll continue to push Jogamo now on truck. Thank you so much for the six months. Appreciate both your primes. Thank you, thank you. But they'll still be aware Two of person hold here at the moment. Dogs going in, rotates coming out for e from EG. Um, money's, yeah, money's really good for EG, and they have another chance here to stack. And EG definitely okay. Jesus. Of playing passively. <laughs> he got Energy melted from both of them there. Or at least still going slow. Yeah. The footsteps are being hurt though. The flasher runs it through to get the kill on the crash. He's a time here. Ross! Wow. And that is awareness coming up from Boostio. Nicely done from Boostio. Yeah, really nicely done. All five of them survive. Extra three thousand on top for everyone. Really, really good. And they can start moving orbs over in terms of the diffused. Jogamo's good. Ozaki as well, what's up? Thank you for sending that, mate. With the tier one, two months in the slug club. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for, thank you for the tier one. Again, more showers control. Boostio oh, Zachy, picks up the benefit of it is. again, right there, knowing that they can block with Harbor or have that block to Harbor, but play around flashes in this situation. One enemy remaining. Absolutely incredible. 4K for Boostio. <laughs> Feeling great. It wasn't expected. <laughs> he looks. Why do he look so surprised? Clean. I mean, he did go for a kind of bold play, and when the flash came in, he pushed forward. Six. Few ultimates to be used, and they may just be propping. Okay, up big timeout because honestly, this is yeah. mad at the moment. Four one, and, and they one pistol. Sure. EG has been looking very strong so far. Boostio, you've just seen yeah. it on the screen before the timeout, just popping off, getting three first kills in a row and a controller roll, playing like as if he was chamber back then on on this very map. But at the same time, when you're looking at Sentinel's EG's hope is alive, yes, man. You're getting a lot yeah. of good movements from Mate, energy, imagine it happens. Down, I know it's very so early into it. But imagine. Factors of EG's success All so three far of them in happen. the second half of the VCTs is their retake plays. Their retake percentage has been quite high, so being good. second for the VCTs here in America. Yeah, you you look at that for Evil Geniuses and you realize it comes from the confidence that they re-hit with, right? If you have Demon 1 peeking through walls on one side, you're <laughs> almost direct to where the office will be 100 the rest feet. of the team starts to flood retake <laughs> on the other side. What would have to go wrong? So overwhelming. You get suffocated. Man, I said EG was walking into the lion's den here. They did not go in just clubs and unga bunga. They're going in with some upgraded utility on this one. And it looks like they have energy figured out for these first few rounds. Will the timeout be the answer to start flipping this back in energy's favor here? Remember we said big alts online, which I feel like they want to... Love being allowed as well. Dude, out of all of the upsets, maybe this is the most likely one. We see That's the craziest off. thing. This will be energy now going back to B since pistol round this is the first time since pistol round that we'll see them trending towards this side here and eg's ready with three already that flash that came out early from ethan down towards long b already rotated demon one 
to get an aggressive angle. Exactly. That's a conversation I had with you, Rip, last week when they had their victory against MIBR. It's like, Ooh. they're not ready for me. I'm here to play. I could front it out. He wants to bring that aggression out too. Flash, he dodges it, but he still has that dash activated. Oh, I love the flash bait. For this. The flash bait was incredible. What's the timing on this? No, no dash anymore. Love this. This is really nice from EG. It's a good reply. The kill on to Bustio. There's the res. And that gives the advantage back for energy. That's nice. You feel like energy are almost playing the no raise nade or anything. Jogo mode just has to. This time they go mode just has to kill showers and hold on to it. Is trying to chase. They'll be two pass from rotate Blade coming Storm in. That's kind of nice. And again, EG have numbers for the take. Here comes Victor. Showstopper out. Demon one out in the air. The headshot. The song finally trigger off at Crashies, but there's 12 seconds left on the clock. Showstopper doesn't get a kill. Spike is still down, but the punch shot from Finesse. Nice down from Finesse. Was my plan that. Drops the two players trying to rotate across. Advantage back once again for energy within this round. And it's Ethan on a three versus one. Muddy to work with. An opportunity to make it expensive against energy. Swings down and that's Finesse. <laughs> okay, nice round from that Finesse. Into the round. Let Daddy call. Finesse on the 4K and the audible call also coming from Finesse there. You have to think. They have seen Trailblazer go through that teleporter multiple times. So whether or not this strat ended at B, they were able to figure out where the offer was. And 100 Vs. It might be all being, uh, it might be all. It might be all being 100 Vs more of an upset than loud being, Great yeah, I think so. For energy to capitalize <clears> Jesus, what's the, the bots the going out, in? They needed that momentum. Round seven. Operator now for Artis on the Sage, yes. Fighting back now, seeing if they can <laughs> That's incredible. these first angles that season one has That's only so had funny. the chance to do. We see this wall a lot here from Finesse. We creep up towards the This box. saw everything getting it's deleted. Dirty once when he stuck the, the barrel of his gun through the wall, so you can see him straight ahead. Not given that chance up here as Artist looks for the peak. A push up here by Demon One as well, Van Silly. Just allows that rotation against the evil geniuses. A lot of that extremity control is allowing EG to be in the right spot for dog the, for dog. the initiation. It's so passive. It's nice though. It's a good way yeah. to see if anyone's following Despite it. Them getting that information that nobody's working towards Huka, nobody's the devastating thing the for NRG is if they lose this, it's one nine loss bonus. So you get the out, but it gets oh, no. Away by he no way he gets both for them. He made that look like the easiest thing ever, and it just wasn't. But he's also going to be the last player standing. Victor just fell. Now up. Whole roster of EG minus Jogimo against some. Spotty here by Team in One. Four alive. Four people alive. Right one back. nine loss when bonus. Over to NRG. It's right. an absolute nightmare. It couldn't be energy. much worse. EG make quick work of that setup. They can't be buying well, into this, this though, right? So far, it's the site that energy no has way, they the go most. for it. And Ethan there with a 2K. <laughs> they go for it. Ethan just a few weeks ago said, I want to play energy. We think they're the best team. Mm. Oh, I'm sure they're getting a lot of that out right now. <laughs> In these first few rounds, it seems like they are very, very ready. And if, and if it was a few weeks ago that EG thought energy was number one, imagine how they've been prepping. Yeah. Imagine. And the crazy part, too, is this is a 5-2 to two lead for EG on EG's defense. This is a map where energy are much stronger on attack. We've seen tremendous comebacks from this team for energy with slow starts on defense. <laughs> Do they know he's that side? To play their That's so side funny. And EG's coming out swinging like this. Oh, watch out. Jeez. Gonna start to have you nice down into the game. Oh my goodness. Face to face now. Boost you're looking for another first kill into the round. One on one against Victor. Damn, he nearly won that somehow. 42 HP. Another beast right here for energy. They don't have Victor to bounce into the site anymore. Who who's gonna be the first one in? A good wall could really get them some positioning here if they can drop into sight, but they'll be dropping right into spicy toes with that viper spike. Right underneath of them. Son did his job though. Yeah, with the high tide and the cascade coming out, followed behind by the trailblazer. They got all of that information. There's been Damn. a spike denial though. Viper instantly Ooh. goes down. Who is that trying for this? Kong continues his reign with no his way Ardis did a grim wall. This summon Viper and it's crashes by himself. Only good for Damn, one. they're loose. Fans. They're loose Somebody with it. The so they're not doing their normal 
they're trying to mess up stats. I think they're trying to mess up stats. Because that's not their normal B here. It's, it's normally wall here and then block of vision here, but they go for the grim wall. Yeah, they're trying to mess up stats. But it's just like, man, you just ignore it. That's how they killed him. With the molly nade. Oh, that's sick. That's disgusting. Who better than EG, right, to cook things up like that? Danger in the van. Energy's gonna go ahead and call the second timeout, Van Silly. Already on the round. Round nine here. This is gonna be Energy's messing up, messing up stats. So it's like, if I'm looking at a team and they do the same B hit every single time with the same util, then you know how you can counter it. But they're trying to throw stuff in, so it's like, oh, but they use their wall here instead of over towards here, right? And then so you're trying to look at it and you're like, the numbers don't add up if you're just doing like, you're just looking at like a bot, basically. Calm, cool, and collected there from Potter side as she also gets time to talk to the team. Reassure them that what they have in the strat book is just working. Everything seems so clean. The fact that you always have Ethan on this left side, but still able to affect A with the new teleporter positioning on Bond. Yeah, it's planned. They're, they're trying to do similar rounds. They're trying to do similar rounds to what they do. It's very obvious, though. What site they need to move to. And that at least, at least to me, it's a little bit obvious. Yeah. And one thing's for sure is maybe, EG is maybe I mean, other people will probably feel the same. Energy. A team who is the strongest in They're terms just trying to mess of it gun up rounds on 5v5s in the league currently only have one gun round in their favor against EG once again. Stronger side attack for them. 80% win rate on buying yeah. on the attack with the last two matches that they've played here at the VCT's Americas. It's not really like they've run out of options and run out of solutions. It's just EG yeah. is really fighting very, very strong. Very well. But look at this creep up. Vanessa made it through towards U Haul. Seekers are coming out for some information. You hear the showstopper coming out. It misses onto Finesse. But still, Jogimo has high positioning up, up above the APC. Big flash loud. Jogimo to swing out. Big kill onto Victor. A second one spotted onto the bench. Fans, there's only three members of EG and A. Yep. But it is also only pistols that it we is. have for energy. <laughs> no, you're Talking mad, man. For God's sake. And some now go for a clutch with a stinger. Defender now closing That's in from behind two, so he forces him inside the cove, and Ethan has an answer back to yeah, his Yeah, this friend. is looking Blame. dominant. Let's wait. Such Let's a chance, see what the spies are burst, like. You get a phantom down. The trades the round. EG is not worried. They're backing each other up so well, knowing that they can smother this low buy round of energy. Peeking in and out of that harbor wall actually made it so tough the way it was ebbing and flowing. And then Shorty's on fire. Ethan comes up with another one on the round. 10 4 3 for Ethan, 10 and 4 for Bustio. Demon One's trying to catch up to these guys right now, <laughs> being aggressive. They're having a great time. Victor forward! Two in his face! What? The, the flash didn't go off in time! But oh both of them had their guns out. <laughs> That's so right sick. Out. Still became a one for one. Chaos. Both of EG members, uh, both almost caught off guard, rather. Room to breathe. Vipers fed out towards Long B. Yeah, let's go for the aggro again, swing on the same round that he sat his in. Push back! <laughs> Caught with Util once again, and so this aggressive. is one thing that I like for Mean G here. It's definitely aggressive because of potentially this double duelist to play yeah. against this double controller setup. There's just so many high elevated positions that you have on a map like Vine. So Satchel's up dress getting these positions. Big shot. 3v3 now. Yeah, but Ooh, Sonic is back. Reckoning out to clear out the site for a bit. And speaking of those that have high elevation, it's Demon 1 and Jogimo. Both duelists for EG looking for the retake. Cove out. Huge grenade. Thrown here by some. <laughs> no way is it doing this. Oh, so look at the cove. <laughs> Good. You and give well it. done here <laughs> on the fundamentals for last, the two last players. Okay, nice round from them. Put the third round on the board. Energy making the quick switch there. Not a lot of time we see Finesse challenged once he gets into that U-Haul too much. Instantly taken down. The team rotates back over and they crash on to see and actually a really clean take as well to cause chaos for the members of evil geniuses that were still there like we said evil geniuses extremity control has allowed them to be at the right site that time energy was hitting the 1v1s the trades that they've been missing throughout these past rounds here to get another one now Let's see if they can keep that momentum going it's going to be tougher once eg gets on attack i think with a double duelist composition so energy needs a few more rounds here 
They push up towards B and nice kill over towards middle. Now I like this aggro that they do. They swap this, once again, and then once they push this person off the angle, the or they check it for. Jesus, he's trying to strike through the TP on his own. They swap this and then they switch. Nice kills coming through Showstopper, as we mentioned before. The nade follow up. Once again, coming out cooked early by Jogimo. We are fighting back and forth, both of these teams. Jogimo looking for the backstab. Both players have energy watching this so far. Oh my god, they're so aware of this. Crash is getting Ooh. that heal up, and both of them walking down. Continuing with the fundamentals. And it's still a Jesus, one Jesus, you managed to kill him. No oh. way TP's and do oh, waiting. Wow, Boostio. Crouch waiting, knife out. Has he even left showers yet? Nope. Now I think they'll know that. They will get information that Boostio is hard anchoring in all situations to that site. Whether it matters for the last round or not, we'll see if they do play towards that side. But every single answer EG has right now, the three rounds have just been scattered, even at low numbers. I thought Energy had a really, really good chance at that one with the way it played out. They've been better on lower numbers when it's 2v2, 3v3. EG still fixes it up Rise to get that win. Jogmo with a huge trade down at Long V to make it the 1v1. Nice now we see the final round, low buy. For energy as they tried to capitalize on those last two that we were looking for for them. And they slowly make their way in. What kind of damage can Victor do now? Not Look at the buy, Victor it's horrendous. Yet. Jogmo doesn't have his eyes on you, Hall. Just seems there the we same go. so far, right? If it's not finesse, it's Victor. Let's They've get... made control of lamps, but really not able to cross the line, the finish line, to get the plant down on the A side and hold the pulse plant. His energy's demise in his first half. Toxin screen down. With the last round on the first half, it's such a low buy too that they have. Right there. And EG once again securing showers. Obscuring vision. Not allowing right energy there. to get any That's more control than short stuff. A after a pulse plant. It's kind of cool. Demon one pushing forward, spawning here by some. Forced to fall back. The wall already broken from the stage. Well placed up. Oh my god, he's so nearly got a dink there. Flash coming out from crashies to allow energy to pull back. Into pulse plant positions. All of BG now closing in from the spawn. Nobody flanking whatsoever. Demon one getting one onto crashies through a poison orb. Some delays are happening from the utility from energy, but it's a little bit too early, so there's still time for EG to move forward. And here comes the explosion after the flashes. The first kill for Jogimo for the retake. Finesse though. Surely not. Back with two of his own with the frenzy. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna win this 15 HP. Time. Um, why does Otis always clutch from there? The spike will still go off. And energy salvages round number 12. That's a big one, especially if Pistol Round's gonna go to the favor of Evil Geniuses here. Switching sides. EG put up such a strong first half right. energy. Finally, what do you got on defense? Everyone playing different positions, or are you playing middle same to positions? late first half here? But it just is for enough for this double duelist comp coming into attack side. It's gonna be a very inter interesting one too, as I mentioned before. Energy has had more struggles well, as if they didn't check this corner though. With this one composition. Last so with a great standing. start that you're coming out from EG, I don't know, man. Maybe there's going to be an upside going into this one. But before we move on here into the second half, ahead of today's match against NRG, we had a chance to speak with Evil Genius's Bustio, and here's what the IGL thinks about the competition. Yeah, I think NRG, NRG is one of the better teams in the league right now. But um, we played them last, uh, last year a couple times, and um, we beat them one of the times. So I think we're feeling pretty confident. I think their team's a little bit weaker this year than in, than in the past. So I think we have a lot of confidence going in, especially with us winning three in a row. I think we're feeling really good. All right, so you heard it here going to this one. Bustio feeling really good. Even stretching out, I mean, he he's put a lot into his shoulders on that first half with the amount of multi-kills that he's had. I mean, yeah, Schnapps is just a different way of doing it, right? It's the, it's the same thing the Navi do with so different far, comps. Right? Chat, Jake from C9, they're, just using, they're just using their comp in a different way. One. Yes, he had some impactful kills with that operator to start things off for a couple of They're still rounds. trying to win. But again, it comes down to strong anchoring from evil geniuses and a retake place. <laughs> <laughs> you love the banter. You love to see it in... You might have had trouble finding when Evil Geniuses played Bind last, because it was August 27th of last year 
And now they're able to show us this? And that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible what the team's able to come up with. Energy into their defensive side now. Because Evil Geniuses will have a chance to run Jogamo and Demon One in the double duelist composition. Strong versus this harbor defense. I'm pretty confident Con Polo. It's different. Uh, they'd be here was different. They stop and separate EG. I think that's a big point there. If you see just one of those double duelists up on the front line. Or both. <laughs> or both. It's kind of a quick separation you can use. But you have to be quicker than EG will here. Eight to four for our first map. Like you said, Vans, a true upset here. If EG are able to come up with this round and looking at energy split lately has been so good, but so is exactly. Evil Genius. Right, triple this, ghost, one picks. frenzy. I think we're triple uh, frenzy, no up. ghosts. A bit surprising for everybody, but we see why not. Flash for goes in, hits one. Definitely had a team that puts a lot of effort into learning their opponents, EG. Mm -hmm. the kind of work they put in into this and coming out with these upset victories on maps that they shouldn't win. And the one I'm thinking of. Their head to head battle against MIBR and Lotus never played it before. Wins it, what, 13 or 2 onto that score line. This time around, it's energy. One in a play, the offensive style on their defense. Man, Smoker Pushing down here as well. Oh teleport. boy. Outside of showers. This is a nightmare. They have to hit B in reaction to this. Ooh. One stage well placed up. <laughs> kind of sick by him. He's going to stay alive for a long time. If he gets one, he's an absolute god. Okay, respect though. He look how far they could be any further away. Are fighting against Busio, while the other four are now already set up for a post by an aggressive two. Wars the spawn. Blocked off timing. Utility there causing everyone to go around B. Cascade still comes through, so they hope to grab attention. Is he here around the corner? Boss man, where's your aim at? The cascade just was too much there for calm. That allows for an opener for Scaling. energy to fly back into the site. The flash blinding too. And Crashy's all he's doing is delaying. Meanwhile, the rest of energy somehow has made it into the site. Jarbo, yes, gets one kill, but he's the last player standing with a frenzy. But energy's already on that defuse. A good play for Ethan. And a good play for Crashies, rather. Okay, nice. You done on this. Of EG back to spawn to allow <clears throat> energy to flood back. Bro's pre aim was on the floor. Energy second pistol of the series. They need those ones if they're not going to be able to rack up the uh, the bonus. The EG already made quick work of the second uh, round. Zero the two in terms of so pistols. I think energy takes this one a little slower. Gets the shots down and really makes the calm work on this one. The back and forth there was really good insight, but there wasn't enough. You had two players of Evil Geniuses scaling into spawn. Crashies did a great job of backing up, backing up. Almost you can't like count the pistol when you when they help. win eco. Mate, it's not it's not my fault that they lost the anti eco. The That's their problem. Of spawn there. Maybe it's a bit of love to start. <clears throat> you still you still count the pistols. Like the walls. It's their fault they lost to full eco. Out a not a chance. Tide. And get themselves back into position. So at least you're only get a one or two fight you can create for yourself based on that wall angle at long. Energy always. Is in round before, not this round. Favor, sorry. One of the it's not a, It's not an early cast saying that. I'm never going to predict an eco to win. See who gets the first kill here. Nobody's peeking. Safe plan. It's a nice name. Dive the paint shells, or you've got the wall bang. Good enough for it's EG, NRG's map pick. No way he gets a second kill with that. Yes, it's incredible. On the first half, they did get a thrifty and eco okay, nicely done. Energy, they can get sums up with this as well. Okay, the they're, utility, the they're in for this. Defense, much harder to do. But at least it builds up that economy here. A good round for uh, a first eco. Or anti-eco, I should say. Now into the bonus. They keep quite a few people alive here. Um, honestly, maybe shines. something on. Actually, I don't know. That's actually a good question. All of them are pretty good. Okay, it has to be Demon on EG, to be honest. Because EG were not clicking before. Oh, yeah. And again, like we mentioned for him before, making a few of those mid round calls. I think that was the most impact, really. Knowing he can create the slows right. and stop those angles. Bonus there. round he is he here, and they have, have the harbor. So a long D wall from harbor, and now a hookah wall. So they're just dividing everything up round to round, trying to predict what EG might do first, and putting a short stall on that. Couldn't break that trailblazer, but yeah. at least it doesn't get information outside of that TP. Cascade now pushed up. 
Well, Aaron Crash needs to move forward here with Som as the other anchor inside B. And an early rotate's coming out here from Artis. So a great read so far as EG is still leaning towards this B side of the map. And that said, though, you see the so position funny. from Busio. He's info for info with that. They get the rotate coming in. That's nice. A quick teleportation from B oh, it's going to be deadly as well. Because then they just put the wall up when this goes in. Second quick plant if you want to. You're both trying to get in the little cubby. Respect. Nice That's by sick. Oh, and the nade behind. Damn, this is actually really cool. I love the double wall setup they're using there, Van Silly. That was so really sick. Just a little wall goes down, the harbor wall goes up. Viper wall goes down, little pocket for them up. to sit in. That was great. Just snuffing out evil geniuses in that hookah area and forcing the hand to A. Oh, oh my goodness. 19 HP. Keep an eye on the time. Anything to stop this? But reckoning already coming out. The plant will come down. And that gets information on the last two clerics running outside of the radius. Demon one's still in there. So you hear the audio cue from that reckoning. So energy are closing in. Back on short A. Demon one looking for the cover inside the nebula, right by the spike. Meanwhile, the reload comes out. Victor Damn, comes they handled this so well. 1v3 for Bustio. Should be impossible. Forcing the position out here from Bustio. Gets the hit. Oh, the Holy hell, that was a nice try, though. It's a really nice try. Okay, they win the bonus. Nice to handle from Crashies. Of course, the right click classic. That's that is awesome comms to a key there for energy. Do you see how quick Crashies flicked off knowing the damage, the call outs? I mean, he did a bit of damage himself. But that one shot I tried one to shot guess it. Rang out pretty loud. Hey, this shouldn't have been uh classic. Shouldn't have been winnable. Played on the walls. Some had reckoning just about the entire time. And it was able to eventually find Bustio, who's still anchoring showers. <laughs> Doesn't matter what side of the map he's on, Bustio showers. You got to be careful about that. Good rotations all around here on the side of energy to prevent that bonus round from going into the favor of evil geniuses. And it will prompt a timeout for Potter here. We thought that energy might have trouble with this double duelist comp. Not so much. They really were able to stop the early harbor wall towards towards Hookah. Don't let Jogmo in there. A lot of teams just blast packing out. We see Asuna doing it. The likes of others too. And it's really hard to stop when that chaos is caused and you have more nades flying in from other parts of the site. So pinpointed strategies on that side. Actually, Jet seems pretty quiet right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe he got what he needed out. Fnatic, I think Fnatic just have different comps in. for the... Two round 16. In terms of what they're saving. Here ...for evil geniuses to try and set something up. Ultimates will be online soon here for the second half. So building up towards those is going to be big for EG to keep these rounds in their favor. His energy looks to swing this one. Okay, against the eco, got a hero gun. Maybe with that momentum, even farther forward. Well, hero gun's been. Definitely, oh, it's a back. great start for energy now. They win no armor on it though. We want to throw this over. To make it a four v four because you have the weapon advantage. Yep. So that timeout, it comes to a crucial moment for EG. Let's see if he gets melted with a no armor. After this one, technically, the round should still come in for energy. You tie things up at an 8-8, and now you have an opportunity to run these threats across. How do you prevent energy? How do you break down that line of defense? I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised he's alive there. Two kills in the round. Jesus, Artis is on one. Wow. Jeez. Find him. <laughs> the crowd wants it. He wants it. Is Bro, he really it? wants it. Was it? No, he actually wasn't the phantom of him. He has a stinger. Ethan just creeping. So maybe see if he still has an orb to grab here, actually. If he can squeeze that out, he'd be one away from Seekers and actually help the further part of these rounds. For real, though, give somebody else a kill, because that'll give an orb for energy instead. Right, Artis already has his res. <laughs> He's like, yep, that's mine. And there's that audio cue, Finesse, making sure... Yeah, Finesse is trying to bait for him as well, respect. <laughs> Team play for energy. <laughs> The ultimate team play. Even though it's a solo guy, you know. Oh, yeah. Everybody cheering him on in the background. These Tell you what, though, Van City's not wrong. Technically, he shouldn't be getting the kill. <laughs> but we won't go into it. Spam, spam. Spike down A. Three down. Even a trail lizard came out from Long B to oh my gosh. get all that information out for artists, get them ready for every single one of these kills. It's crazy how artists can go to just jet back to Battle Sage like nothing changed. 
And that's one thing, though, for Energy. They've been quite good playing behind these extra obstacles that they're creating from slower okay, to big Byron. to cascades coming through, too. Money's not here for them. Energy now has to be wary of that. Energy, definitely so far in this map, has looked like they've brushed up their defense. Real slow. Uh, Bustio is even further back this time, but still anchoring showers just from miles, of, miles and miles away. He'll find out that it's going to be covered if he gets so wait, into that teleporter. So wait, did they push? So did they wall up? Wondering about. So wait, they walled up. It's a crazy part. They pushed showers, then he then he walled this, and then they dogged out or flashed through, so that he could sneak in. Thompson and Busia wrecked him. <laughs> That's incredible. And it's up to three players alive now for evil geniuses. Demon one, common Busio. Oh, finally, Demon one answer is back. Thirty seconds left. We have Demon one so low on HP. That's Trying to get a very bold. Out here. Are the defenders? It's a nice, one nice trade one, from man on team. Really, really good. As they take the lead into this game. It's just kind of cool though. I like the attempt there. Bustio was all over it. I like uh, I like the I mean, idea. The second half there shows you three defuses for energy getting the retake and then two just complete kill rounds where evil geniuses isn't finding their way into the site for 16 and 17. That does not spell great things here. But the double duelist comp needs to be explosive. I mean, even if you're you're sourcing towards the middle here, you can't really always have a contact. I like the idea. Okay, team. Molly's That's coming in. They want to fight over towards long. To play that low buy from them. Three so stingers. A bit more of this teamwork now. There they are behind Demon's kind of unreal Storm with this all. Let's see if they can uh, get something. Here. But it's all about the delay. It's, I feel like energy, as long as they can stop what is the initial rush, they feel much better about that secondary being stoppable that EG is going to show them. There. What's been happening here is just all these delays happening along B. The wall's still up here towards A shower, so all of energy could really focus these players on this B sign. But for boost here, we're not really breaking that wall. We're trying to find some sort of timing. Maybe a late hit, something like that. But that's for energy to just continue to work their positionings mm -hmm. and find an aggressive early kill back on the B side. Spike drop the calm, possibly getting the uh, Viper's pit. Fix Once his he gets it, Jogamo is also one off. And they go. This is what we were Whoa, looking for. Whoa, got Ancilli. deleted. Showstopper out from Victor trying to find Jogamo wow. and finally does so. But because we have this lower buy now for EG, they can't capitalize on any of these kills. Any God, of they get in wrecked in once it's come to defense off. And this continues to be, to be a flawless run for EG on their defensive half. Yep. Energy capitalizing everywhere they can and on EG's timeouts. So both coaches going to get a chance here to speak with the team. Potter is definitely talking about what the holes are right now, what they need to sure up on both sides. A lot of the time, and that's, this was crazy, but yeah, definitely a low buy round is the effect that energy is able to win. But a lot of these times, Evil Genius is, is being stopped at that first initiation and it doesn't seem like the audibles are as clean as they uh, have been for other maps and maybe that is kind of that lack of prep going into this attack side with them being able to counter energy on defense right they need a bit expected. of a miracle for this but one is a big is a big buy round but... it's been since last year like i said in august since we've seen bind and however it changed still here it looks a little shaky on that aggressive side for Evil Geniuses. <laughs> he died it? <laughs> I don't mean he died it. And this is, that's not his normal hand. He's going to be back in the game. There's been moments, though, during the VCTs of 2021 on a map like Bind when it's still around before the changes that we've seen some great movements when they had a Brimstone, Jogamo's getting great satchels behind the enemy lines on the A site. Those type of plays are not really coming out for these early showers, mm -hmm. early A site control. Maybe understanding because you're playing right. against this double controller. They need the a hero round. So they got some orbs for it. They got to be so using big. that in. So if you plan for this, somehow. looking like a fast B. So but there's a three person together. stack here and they're to going down long and maybe they're going to go aggro. No, they wall out. They get that. Oh, that's nice. Simple plan from NRG. And now this wall long. Starts to funnel more of this action towards Hookah. Nice. Crashies 
Onto Dogma, one duelist down. Yeah. That's what, like, his force, fourth first death into the half. So trying to find value off satchels, off openings. Gets denied instantly. Is satcheling towards the air as soon as he lands down, he's gone. It's perfect. They can hit over towards A now. Once again, a player advantage for energy has been perfect on these conversions so far in these player player advantages. It's crazy. The first kill every round this half. How, what, you know, what is EG's expectation after that? Yeah. And usually it's one of the duelists going down, so you lose the tip of the spear there on one side. I mean, they're taking a long the time to make a decision. Shuts you down that much more. It's like a domino. Oh, this is going search it. They lose Jogamo or Demon One. He's still up on the trade. Finesse as well, left. answering back. Four v two now for energy on another buy round here for EG. In time for it now. A chip edge of the spear. No dash in, but still two players moving in for EG. Yeah, they need a miracle. With 14 seconds left. Oh, they don't want to give him time. Finesse is already close. Big flash out. Oh, he dodges away. Now has support from Victor. And it's ah, that's unlucky. He gave himself a good try. Nicely done from NRG again. Um, looked like their whole plan was around Jorgamo. So as soon as he energy. died, it was like they didn't really know what to do. One on their defensive half for so I imagine whatever plan they had into that last round, they're going to do it again. So maybe you see the same start. Not sure. Right now. An incredible <laughs> second half from energy. And this is what makes this team so volatile to play against. You think you have an answer. You think you have them on the ropes. And they just play an extra confident game of Valorant against you. Oh. Didn't see that. Sun is in his eyes. Uh, <laughs> extra strong Valorant here. Finesse. Coughs down the pit immediately. So if it's not uh, an early harbor wall towards long, which they already have, or a sage wall towards long, it's now something pushing the hand of evil geniuses in another direction. The Viper's That's pit nice, and Ethan's found out showers. Two people. Victor's opping on defense. Oh god, this is gonna own them. That's how answer back. Yeah. Demon one looking for a pick himself That's and nice. right away. I love Dude, it. mixing up well, I like first it. First time here for EG to add more I feel like Victor's everywhere. Extremities, especially by breaking a sage wall. And their energy just wants to walk back into it and fight right back. Not giving any ground control so far. As Jogimo's trying to find his own ground. Uh, by activating the showstopper in B. It's an open site. Everybody's playing yeah. passively for energy. Exactly. They recognize how scary that yeah, they got some zone if they want to retake. The energy is going to look for the full retake here. Operator is in hand, so it's going to be tricky. And we need finesse from the other side of the map. Still a tough hit. Yes, it covers up the spike. But it doesn't really cover everybody funneling back towards spawn. So for EG, you had to fight on elbow. Ooh. Trades. Free it, rise up on crashies. Okay, good luck. Good luck, 2v4. The, the, the other one's inside the pit. Calm still has a snake bite to work with. But it's gonna have to be hero plays, individual plays, more deniability. Snake bite already on the Last ground. And the oh pain shells gosh. land on the feet of Ethan. Calm is looking for the clutch. Push oh, nice right away through crashies as it gets the kill into Ortis. And energy just like that. Or at that point. So really, well really strong. By energy. It's a very good defense off from them. They've, they've, the they've been mixing it up a lot. With a big smile a on his lot, face a lot. There. They knew that the scaling would come through from Evil Geniuses. They waited Screams for Battle that Sage? Yeah, we've heard out a good amount. Happen, that EG would take more space We're pretty confident with it. Most of the kills happened outside the site. I like to stage a lot to kind of say good. Elbow, leaving just that Viper's Pit up in sight. Our calm becomes so difficult. Again, he always wanted to be rotate, so it's like... A rotating so duelist is Demon not really how it's played. You know, oh, wait. Unless, like, Hold it's on this map and it's raised. Satchel charge missed, though, by Jogimo, so he couldn't get the full entry and maybe try to punish some positioning here from energy. But at least they have showers control in an orb up. That activates now the possibility of bringing out the cosmic divide from Bustio. Because all of EG are looking to cut noise now. Just afraid here for for EG to start peeking corners now. Now that they know that operator for Victor continuing that flexibility as a player. It's good delay at the moment. Flash goes in deep over to towards B as well. 
Without even for their confidence to stack four people here. Victor has a lot of util to stop the plant. There goes the nade. So far so good. Song playing behind the wall. Boombot trying to find some yeah, information. There's a satchel if he wants, but I don't think they heard it. Time is there. Potentially two more smokes to come through. But we're looking for this. The cove comes out. The slow warp comes through. Jarmo's running inside of that smoke, but there's two players waiting for him right there. Puzio trading him right back. Up towards the benches. What do you want to get to Artis who fights it back? But we still Let's have go. some ground control on the other end of the A site. Here comes a flank. Crashes up towards short. He's gonna hear the molly now. Hear the snake bite coming soon from Kong. No, he didn't. Lance on. Kong decides otherwise. Waits a bit. And allows crashes to move forward and to get the surprise Molly. kill onto Ethan. Yes, the Molly's gonna Six land down, but it's up to calm on a three versus one. Delays for Crashes is full. Gets that first kill. It's not at halfway. So calm has to move up. That there's that first. Be. And there's the a <laughs> nicely handled from calm. Calm with the Red Bull clutch. All right. Four chances down to An three. Incredibly close defuse as well. If calm wasn't able to come in big, he's feeling it. A heart stopping moment there for the player. If you think about Calm last week on the breach, he was playing out One of his down. mind, summoning a bit of that here to keep Poison's the off. game going. What a lineup to hit. Orb as well to get the vulnerability that matters so much. And a sigh of relief comes out as evil geniuses get the plan and plot for another round. All right. It's got to be a good attack. Demon one very close to his ultimate, and that's actually going to be a solo. Op comes in, long trying to set up over towards long. He peeks, or puts himself in the corner real quick. Bustio a lot further up here on that shower's control. His energy patiently plays this kind of squiggly harbor wall in mid. Yeah, and uh, that harbor wall is basically to counter off. Made every the single time from NRG. It's a different, Tom, not allowing different any setup. It's pretty either. cool. That runs the clock down. That runs the fuel down from Calm. And more delays are coming out from Som with the Cascade right after. Meanwhile, though, for energy, it's Victor once again um, with the Operator. Oh. They run right back right up. <laughs> no thank you. And not only the this is big the info. Yeah, they they the walled off, Victor, so that'll help get walled off all of this at the right time when they were running away. So they can feel confident to heavy rotate even for. Yeah, this is done. Inside the poison rope to get killed with the shorty. Oh, full bite. Families here to allow Vanessa run through. Jumping out through the high time. Vanessa continues to rain. But it's up to what a strong half from them. Really, really strong half. And they and they mixed it up a lot. So when you look into that, it's going to be hard. And they mixed up a lot of their attack side as well. So they did good into this. I like how they approached it. To take the first map, 19 to 3. Dominating the first kills from the defensive side, Van Silly. Those first eight rounds, first eight kills that they were able to get and capitalize on the 5v4 conversion every time. Oh, Sentinel fans, that okay, maybe they, they need to accept it. It can't happen. Those Genius upsets are too big. With that double duelist attack composition, they could not get anything going. And